Yes, maybe life overdid the lesson for me. Made a dollar worth too much. And the time came when that mistake ruined my career as a fine actor. Well, I've never admitted this to anyone before, lad, but tonight I'm so heartsick I feel at the end of everything. And what's the use of fake pride and pretense? That goddamn play I bought for a song and made such a great success in it ruined me with its promise of an easy fortune. I didn't want to do anything else. By the time I woke up to the fact I'd become a slave to the damn thing and, and did try other plays, it was too late. They had identified me with that one part and didn't want me in anything else. And they were right, too. I'd lost a great talent I'd once had through years of easy repetition, never learning a new part, never really working hard. 35 to 40 thousand dollars net profit a season, like, like snapping your fingers. It was too great a temptation. But before I bought the damn thing, I was considered one of three or four young actors with the greatest artistic promise in America. Well, I worked like hell. I left a good job as a machinist to take supers parts because I loved the theater. And I was wild with ambition. I, I read all the plays ever written. I studied Shakespeare as you'd study the Bible. I educated myself. I, I got rid of an Irish brogue you could cut with a knife. Oh, I loved Shakespeare. I would act in any of his plays for nothing for the joy of being alive in his great poetry. I could have been a great Shakespearean actor if I'd kept on. I know that. In 1874, when Edwin Booth came to the theater in Chicago where I was leading man, I played Cassius to his Brutus one night, and Brutus to his Cassius the next, Othello to his Iago, and so on. But the first night I played Othello, he said to our manager, that young man was playing Othello better than I ever did. That from Booth the greatest actor of his day, or any other. And it was true. And I was only 27 years old. Oh, I say, so look back on it today. That night was a high spot in my career. Oh, I had the world where I wanted it. And for a time after that, I'd kept on with ambition high. Married your mother. Her love was an added incentive to ambition. Ask her what I was like in those days. But then my good bad luck made me find the big money maker. But what wasn't that in my eyes at first? It was a great romantic part. I, I knew I could play better than anyone. But it was a great box office success from the start. And then life had me where it wanted me. I from 35 to 40,000 net profit a season. Fortune in those days, and even in these, what the hell was it I wanted to buy, I wonder? It was worth... Oh well. No matter. It's a late day for regrets.